Who was the Apostle Paul? In Acts chapter 24, we see two opposing views, the accusations by the Jewish leadership and Paul representing himself. And as we'll see, regardless of the circumstances, God uses all things together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. In verse 5, a spokesman for the Jewish high priest and elders sums up the accusations against Paul. For we have found this man a plague, a creator of dissension among all the Jews throughout the world, and a ringleader of the sect of the Nazarenes. He even tried to profane the temple, and we seized him, and wanted to judge him according to our law. But the commander, Lysias, came by with great violence and took him out of our hands commanding his accusers to come to you. Paul responds to the accusations by saying he had just been in the temple in Jerusalem to worship, verse 12, and they neither found me in the temple disputing with anyone nor inciting the crowd either in the synagogues or in the city, nor can they prove the thing of which I'm now accused. So what happened? Well, Paul was held by the Roman government for over two years awaiting a decision. Two years, that's a long time. And you may question, how is this a good thing for Paul? It really doesn't sound that wonderful, does it? But here's the thing, Paul is being held, but he's being held in the most important city of Palestine, in the palace of a Roman governor who sent for him often to converse with him. He also had many liberties. He could see his friends and they could visit and care for Paul. It's a good arrangement for Paul, but only because he loves the Lord and knows that he's been called according to this purpose. See, even though Paul is being held, he's being well cared for, and he has an amazing opportunity to make Christ known. And that's who Paul was.